Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 58 of I Got Two Friends. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. But you can't mix business and pleasure. Come on, you can mix it. I'm glad this came out a couple of hours instead of waiting until like what three o'clock in the morning for this to come out. So pretty. Hmm. It seems I thought it would be like the city as a whole <coughs> a little larger, but whatever. It's pretty. Mm -hmm. God. <laughs> uh. mm -hmm. That's what I need right now. It's too hot here in Florida. I know. <laughs> Brings up memories. No matter how many times you've done this. Sorry. Mm -hmm. No, we don't have to resort to violence. Oh, well, damn, never mind. Isn't that her brother? Mm hmm. No. Oh. 
Oh, he's so cute. They're inside. Yeah, very Norwegian vibe. Oh. Mm -hmm. Whether it's your friend or foe. She'll be fine. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm, of course she's seen. Hi. <laughs> and nervous. It'll be okay. Oh, she's so pretty. Mm. Oh, why? No. Let me see. God, her eyes are so cold. <laughs> Does it ever get warm here? Deep down inside, you know you're not. Bless you.
Don't flirt. <laughs> oh, my mom's so pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. So that's why she has so much pressure on me. But then what about your mother though? Unless her mother passed away. <laughs> hey, Vicky, it's okay. Are they really outside? <laughs> nice, I know. I know. Making a path, silly. Building a stage of snow.
Exactly. Hmm. I don't know. So my thing is, are they going to do like a Christmas Eve song? I mean, or no, like a Winter Wonderland song, something like that. Or, um, oh my God, we could do any song. I don't know. Oh, they're going to do that one song. Mm hmm Excuse me. It still would have been better if it was on the ice stage, but you know, it's okay. It's fine. Mm -hmm.
Mm. She'll be like that again. I just, it's gonna take time, right? Mm hmm. You do. You miss it, don't you? Yeah. Mm hmm. So I'm guessing either next week she'll perform or he be Or maybe we'll have two performances. But it was a good episode. I mean, it does give me. A Norwegian vibe, as I said. Um, I'm guessing we're going to have the power of love and friendship. Um, <laughs> bring an end to this chilly winter of this town. And I mean, it is a very small town. Um, and I feel bad for Lucy. She has to deal with so many things because of the fact that her father is so sick. But they still didn't really answer the question on her mother. So as of now, if possibly maybe next week we may get a little bit more information um about her mom but i think her mom possibly passed away why would you show a scene where she is there one minute and then the next minute not there older only just the father figure so where's her mom only thing i can really think of is she possibly did pass away due to something and we're not gonna know until next sunday but, I mean, I hate the fact that, still, she is cold and distant. But that's something that I like about her, really. Having Hibiki and Alicia in the room together one more time with Aine and Yuki. I mean, Yuki, Aine. Uh, Aine and Mio together. And just having her hear her say no for the bazillionth time. And then saying it for all eternity. That really, like, just broke my heart. And I wasn't ready for that. I'm thinking, like... She was going to at least have a conversation with her, like, on the side, and we would have been able to see it, and she just would have been like, I didn't know about this, this, that, and the third. Why didn't you tell me? And they're finally there. So, okay. If he be he or Alicia doesn't perform, I can either see Pure Palette performing once again next week. Or possibly love me to you. Just to bring something up. Because the biggest thing is. They're starting with the children. Once the children fall in love with them. Everyone else but surely is going to love them as well. And eventually Alicia. Which is their goal. She's going to be the last one. I mean her brother is already in love with these characters. And really cares for Hibiki. And heck even had. The guards say, let them through, walk all the way to, not even walk all the way to the castle, went on the uh, snowmobile with a carriage all the way to the castle, walk in, and just having the fact of bringing those two together, like, he even wants to see, he wants to see his own sister do it, and then eventually he got to see it with Aine and Mio, but I think it just would be better for him to see his sister, because he really, truly loves her so much. And he wants to see her happy again instead of being always cold and distant and rather, um, as I like to say, mean mugging. Because I can't say the other word, but mean mugging because she's very, um, she has a no filter. She will say immediately what's on her mind and then Hibiki will be taken up struck and just she doesn't know how to feel they're both at a crossroads right now but it's just they're trying really more it looks like to me hibiki is trying a lot more than alicia because alicia is like no you know what i said i'm not gonna repeat it no matter how many times you come up here and ask me whether it's five years ten years twenty years what how many years down the road my answer is still no because i have a country to run my father is sick we, like I said, don't know ish about her mom, but the fact is that she's now learning certain things that she didn't know when she came 
before she did Space I Cut to five years ago, um, she was just come back with me. And she immediately, no matter what, had to say no. But now that I, I'm not Alicia, he became now knows they can try to figure something out. Because I feel like her brother, Shadadu, or her father, possibly maybe both of them, if she decides in these next few weeks to say, yes, I want to come back to Aikatsu, no, I don't want to come back to Aikatsu, she's going to make that decision. And then her brother and her father, mainly maybe her brother, might be the next one to take over since she's going to go on like a typical hiatus, but someone else is still going to be taking over with running the country and the kingdom and dealing with the paperwork and stuff that Alicia has to go through as of right now. But, I mean, she's a, what, 15, 16-year-old girl, and she's dealing with this on the, on her own. So, in a way, she has to grow up really fast. I mean, I, I can't imagine, like, running a country and dealing with certain things. I mean, that that's, like, from freaking Princess Diaries or any type of movie TV show where someone finds out that they're um, into royalty or they're getting married into royalty and they have so many things to attend to and deal with on a daily basis. I don't know how people can take it, but I mean, for Alicia to do it, she's a very bright, smart young girl. And I'm hoping that she could just say, I want to pass it down to someone else because I really, truly care about us. And I want us to finally continue our friends unit, but it's only until Alicia thinks she's ready, which is not right now. So probably between maybe episode 60, 61, maybe? Because I, I still have a feeling they're, they're going to stretch this out. I know they're going to do it. They've done it before with some other, um, for the previous two series. So they're going to do it now. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 58 of I Cut Two Friends. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Metro Squad. And of course, I will see you hopefully, maybe next Sunday as well if they decide to um the people who do the subs for this like, actually get it out on sunday instead of like sunday night at like three o'clock in the morning um so that i don't have to worry about it on monday but we ain't gonna really know until next week but until then i will see you guys all next week for episode 59 bye guys